Hey, my name is Alina, and you're watching what I'm doing right now. Hi, kitty. Okay. On those pictures is really quite nice. This is all the stuff for the Patreon boxes going out this month. I just signed this contract with the Bitterroot Economic Development District. It's kind of weird, but we have to pay them $1,000 to write a grant for us, and then that maybe gets us money from the state of Montana. The weirdest part is that the Bitterroot Economic Development District is a for-profit organization. So you have to pay a for-profit organization to get grants from the state of Montana. It's a weird setup, and I'm a little bit nervous because we can pay this thousand dollars and not get a grant at all if they decide that they don't like it. But we feel like we've done our homework, we've outlined what we want to spend the money on, so if all goes to plan, in the next couple months we will have a little bit of money to start getting my production studio up and running for realsies. Well, there wasn't anybody in there, so I just slipped the contract under the door. This process, if I'm honest, feels a little janky. Okay, so next up on the agenda is something that was pretty late notice, but uh, I'm about to get on an airplane and fly to Seattle. I had to sign a non-disclosure agreement for what's going to happen in Seattle, so I don't know yet how much I can share, but I promise that I will share as much as I am legally allowed to share. So that I don't forget, I'm putting the ticket for parking at the airport in this pocket in my bag. That's me, right there. You want, you want Miranda? Aranda. You have kids? Uh, no, I know. They're married separate times, but never had a child. If you did, would they have just American citizenship, or would they get dual citizenship? Uh, they get dual, like me. I'm in the process of getting dual citizenship. I've been on a green card for many, 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 many years. I've actually renewed it once. That's how long I've been here. I could have got citizenship 20 years ago, you know, I just haven't got around to it. So when I get my US citizenship, I'll have British and US. If I had a child, that child, because I'm British, would automatically be able to get British citizenship. I think it's Italy. Uh, if you can 
prove that yeah. any of your ancestors were Italian, they just give you a passport, yeah. basically. Yeah. So I was I was going back in my family tree trying to find someone who was Italian so that I could yeah. get at least into the EU. Right. Yeah. So then I could get into the UK that way. And I actually cannot give up British citizenship. You can give up your US citizenship. I highly don't recommend it. <laughs> don't do it. Ever. It's the worst thing you'd ever do. No, I, I quite like being American. Yeah, exactly. Certainly America has problems and will always have its problems, but I, I am immensely thankful that oh, I was yeah. born here Absolutely. and not in almost anywhere else. Absolutely. I think that's, that's probably my biggest problem with Donald Trump's slogan, Make America Great Again, yeah. as if it's not somehow. Yeah, exactly. He keeps saying exactly. that America doesn't win anymore. We're going to make America win again. What does that even mean? Yeah, no, exactly. No, it is the greatest country, and that's why I choose to live there. If you push B1 in the elevator, there's the 24 hour complimentary Thank physical you. fitness center and full service spa. That's what I'm after. Nice. Spa? The, the fitness center. <laughs> And here's our room tour. Starting with the bathroom, you got a shower thing there, toilet area there, bathtub thing. It's a nice bathroom. Look at this art. There's art in here. There's another, uh, another mirror right there. Television, bed, nightstand, more art. Yeah, art. Some bamboo, excellent. But the best part, you can see into the bathroom from the bed. And this is the view. You got some water over there, some buildings. There's a giant Ferris wheel thing, street. I have just like 15 minutes before I have to head down to the lobby and meet the people who set this whole thing up, at which point I will figure out how much of what is going to happen I'm able to share with you guys. But in the meantime, I'm just trying to catch like 15 minutes of the Democratic debate. I'm a little bit bummed out that this is happening at the same time this is happening, because I would like to give both of them my full attention, and that can't happen. Looks like I got a gift bag, which contains a bag inside the bag. A Microsoft water bottle, some <laughs> Pellegrino, cashews, a Microsoft notebook, chocolate, coffee, chocolate, Microsoft mints, and chocolate covered cherries. A lot of things that I can't eat during Lent. Okay. It's time to see what happens. I just came down to the lobby and found some some other YouTubers. <laughs> I, I had no idea anyone else was gonna be here. This is weird. Okay, so uh, Freddie Wong here uh, is is literally the first person I've met who said that he hates Episode Seven of Star Wars. No, really? Yeah. I, I mean, I've heard, I've heard some people have been like, eh, but I've never heard anyone say that they hated it. Let me be clear: the first third literally is a fantastic movie. Like, I was on the edge of my seat. Like, they nailed it. JJ got this. The moment Han Solo shows up, it turns into a bad movie. I, I will say that I think the part, the whole thing with the raft cars and stuff on his little uh, yeah. cargo ship, that's probably just, my least just, favorite I'll, part of the, let the me just, film. I'll just, I'll, and I'll posit the following. The entire point of Han Solo's story arc from four through six is he goes from roguish asshole who runs away at everything, <laughs> every opportunity, to got, dependable guy who trusts his friends and sticks around. That is his story. Yeah. That is Harrison Ford's story. From the beginning of 4, he starts that way, he disappears, he shows up at the last second, he's always trying, you know, they, they rescue him, he's all in, 4 through 6, that is his arc. Why does, if that is the whole point of his character, why does this one start with him being like, I guess he's just back to roguish asshole again. It's like, what was the point of these last four or three movies, guys? If you're just gonna completely reverse what the basis of this character is from the beginning. I don't, I don't completely agree with this. Let me add this, let me add this. How much better 
How much better of a movie is the following scenario? A father who feels guilty about failing a marriage and actively seeking his son because of it. I don't buy a total roguish asshole who gets randomly got brought back to Leia, they look at each other, he's like, yeah, I guess you're right, I'm gonna go find the son. Like, why, does, why is that not his thing from the beginning? Why is he not like, I need to redeem my son, I've made a mistake, I need to follow through this. How, is, how much stronger is the death of a character who actually is seeking that from the get-go, as opposed to just kind of like, he gets roped into it, sort of, from the in the middle of it? Like, I'm not, again, everybody, you can, you can backseat direct this all day, but the point, but the point is, I want characters I care about. I want them to, I want to feel for them, I want to go with them on these journeys. I'm totally with, the, the, and that's the one thing I got, I'm totally with the three new people they introduced. Totally with it, totally get, and totally in love with it. However, the moment Han Solo shows up, it feels like the movie literally just pulls the brakes from the crazy cool momentum that it had going up into it, to being like, I guess we're kind of dealing with these losers and their loser family again. I want to know more. I was like, the biggest part of the movie is like, I want to spend more time. The best part of the movie is spending time with these new characters. Like, these people are really interesting. They're really cool. It's been like 10 minutes since I stopped filming. He's still going at it. He's getting more angry. All right, hi, I'm back at the apartment. <laughs> so we had that secret dinner. The dinner wasn't actually secret. And I got uh, some information about what I can and can't say. Right now, I'm allowed to say that uh, Microsoft has invited me and some other YouTubers out here to see a cool thing. They still haven't explained to us even exactly what that means. So tomorrow, I'll probably just be able to film myself traveling to the Microsoft campus. Probably nothing while I'm there. Of course, if they say that I'm allowed to film anything there, I will film it. But I mostly just expect that after I'm done there tomorrow, I will just be able to tell you that I had fun or something. But they did say that we will be able to tell more about what's happening soon, whatever that means. Mm -hmm.